Hey guys, well done. Today I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial. Um, I promised one for a very long time. Today I'm quite sick, um, so sorry if I sound a bit weird. Now you know why. So, right, let's start with a new project. I've made the folder already, um, my name tutorial. And then here we're going to make a new folder, name it Assets. Um, this is going to hold all of our art and music and things that's going to be used in our game. And then in your um, in your text editor, um, I'm using brackets. Um, I'm gonna make a new file, uh, index.html. Done this in the past tutorial. Uh, in here, um, I guess. Wait, uh, there we go. All right. So in here, um, all we need to do um, is do some HTML. I'll be explaining the HTML side of things um, unless. They had to do with phaser. Um, this is not a HTML tutorial. I recommend you learn it. Um, it's not that hard. Um, chance set. It's really worth it. Um, but yeah, here I'm just setting up a basic layout uh, for our game. Uh, I can't type. There we go. Title. Title. There we go. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, tutorial. That's going to be the title of our window. Um, doesn't really matter what you set it to. I'm gonna set up our scripts soon. Um, right. Next, um, we need to set up our our body uh, tag. Oops. What? <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh god, I can't type. Body. There we go. Um, and inside of here, we're gonna make a script, um, which is gonna take care of all of our game variables and major things like that in our states. So text JavaScript. Um, Alright, uh, and in here we're gonna say if window, so once the window's loaded, um, load, okay, unload, equals function, oh God. Uh, function, there we go. So once it loads, uh, it's gonna run this code. So in here we just want to set up our game variable of our game, new phase of our game. 800 uh, by 600 pixels, our standard uh, phase of canvas, that's going to be our renderer and then our DOM uh, parameter we're going to set to nothing <coughs> alright so now we set up the states uh, which we've done before in our past tutorials so here we can just do the state and add, game will and add we're going to have a boot state which is just going to set up some things for us um, Oops, not fall. What? Game dot boot. And we can just copy paste this a bunch of times. Uh, so for example, alright, we're gonna have a preloader, which is gonna be our loading screen. Um, yep, this is gonna be loading all of our assets. Uh, preloader. There we go. Uh, here we're gonna have our main menu. We're gonna have a main menu, um, which is gonna allow the user to say, "Oh, I want to play. I want to do this." Blah blah. Uh, main menu. Right, uh, and then we're gonna need uh, a playing state. Uh, we're gonna name it level one uh, since we're gonna have multiple levels in this game. Um, right, so uh, that's our state set up. Now we actually need to start our boot state. So state dot start boot. There we go. Right, um, that's pretty much that done. Don't forget that. Right, now we need more files. So make a new file, save this, bit.js. Um, you should probably see in the t uh, bottom right corner uh, the files. So we need a boot preloader.js, and there we go. Save that, uh, main menu.js, uh, there we go. Uh, another one, and we're going to name this level 1.js. Perfect. Um, right, that's it, uh, I think. Yes. Okay, so uh, don't forget your phaser file. You should have it. If not, you can download it from phaser.io. And once you've downloaded that, just throw it into your uh, next to your JS files. Right, so let's get started with our boot. Um, our boot file. Um, next, we're going to get rid of the files. There we go. So, uh, in our boot file, uh, we're going to need to set up a variable. This is going to be a reference to our game. Uh, just make sure it's the same one uh, that you've used here. 
right? Um, so then we can just do game dot boot equals function game. Here you can state some global variables, uh, which we won't do for now. Uh, game dot boot dot prototype. Again, you should know what prototype is. This is not a JavaScript tutorial; it's just a phaser tutorial. I'm going mainly over the phaser th uh, topics. So in our boot prototype, uh, we're gonna set up a init function. Here's gonna be our init initially. Uh, if I can say that word in in initialization, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. Um, okay, so um, if this was a mobile game, uh, we would want multi-touch support or something similar, but we don't. So in this, we can set up the amount of pointers we want uh, by simply doing this. That put max pointers um, equals, and you can set how many you want if it's a touch screen. But it's, since it's just a computer web game, we're only gonna have one pointer. Uh, a pointer is just the cursor, I guess. Uh, you can say it like that. Uh, Alright, next uh, we're gonna need to say if... Um, so for example, let's say the player's playing... I guess a running game, or something reflex type of game, sort of thing, right? And if the player taps out during the middle of the game, we don't want the game to pause, otherwise that would be quite cheating, I guess. So what do you want to do? So what we want to do is just keep the game running while it's... Um, while it's running, technically. So it's not gonna freeze if the player um, tabs out. So, this is stage disable visi visibility. There we go, change. And we're gonna set that to true. Right, uh, put a comma there. Next, we're gonna need our preload function. It's gonna load our things before the preloader. So, before our loading screen, of course, we're gonna need to load it in our. Uh, loading image, I guess. Preload a bar. Bat bar. There we go. <laughs> Gosh, I can't type today. Um, it's been a long day, okay? <laughs> Alright, so uh, in our assets folder, we're gonna have a preloader uh, bar. Preloader. The PNG, I'm gonna give a file right there uh, soon. Um, oh god, don't, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Right. Next, we're gonna need to create a create function. Oh god, the video's freezing. Why you did this? Gosh, I haven't set up things right. Oh well. Fuck it. Right. Let's keep going. Um, so in our create function, we want to state a start. Uh, I stop freezing. <laughs> okay. Preloader. Right. So this is gonna. S so once the boot function's over, it's gonna go on with our preloader. So in our preloader, all we want to do is just load in uh, our assets and set up the loading screen. F uh, on our loading screen, uh, we just want a bar basically that's going from zero to full width as the files are being loaded in. So um, we need to do like we did before: game dot preloader equals preload. Err, there we go. Function, function. Uh, we're gonna get a reference uh, from the game. Actually, we don't really need the reference. I'll just keep it there. Good practice. Um, all right. Uh, we're gonna need to set up a variable for our preload bar. Uh, set that to null. Uh, don't forget semicolon. There we go. Right. Uh, next, we need to do our prototype function like we did before. Loader dot prototype. 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 There we go. Gosh, it's so hard to talk and code at the same time. Right, uh, preload, preload function. This is where everything's gonna get loaded. So, get ready. Right, so let's set up our preload bar. Uh, preload bar equals this dot add dot sprite. Um, there we go. That's big enough. Um, this dot world dot um, Center X. That's gonna be the center of the screen. This dot world. Uh, oops. Make a new line. This dot world. Hang on. Uh. <laughs> Gosh. This dot world. Dot center Y. Um, and then the ID we gave was preload. Preload bar. Yes, that's what we did. Right. Um. 
Oh gosh. Anyway. Um, next, uh, we want to set up the anchor point of the preload bar. Preload bar to anchor. Anchor that's set to 0.5. Oh gosh. I'm sick. <laughs> it's not good. I shouldn't be doing tutorials when I'm sick. I'm sorry. Right. But you guys want it, so. Alright. We need uh, to enable uh, advanced timing. Uh, you don't need to know what that is. It's just going to allow us to take care of time a lot better, I guess. Oh gosh, and now we need to set up our loading um, sprite, preload sprite. Uh, phase make this makes this pretty easy. Uh, just this the load set preload sprite. That's the preload. Oh, right. So that's just gonna make so that the preload bar that we stated up here is actually gonna be a preloading uh, bar. Yes, and down here we can just load all assets. I like that. Right, uh, and then put a comma there, and then in our create function, I should probably make some space. There we go. Function uh, this dot state dot start. Um, oh god, video stop freezing. I hate it when it freezes. Oh well. Alright, so this is just gonna start our level 1 uh, file, uh, which we'll get into right now. So, in our level file, uh, we're gonna need, like we usually do, um, level 1 equals function. That's my phone. Shut up! <laughs> Alright, in here we're not gonna state anything yet. Uh, we will in the future, but for now, it's gonna be empty. Uh, Game.level1.prototype. Uh, Prototype. Oh god, I can't type that. There we go. Um, right, so here we're just gonna need a usual create and update function. Functions. Um, right, that's our create function. And our update function. There we go. Alright, um, put a comma down. There we go, perfect. So, we can run the game now and it's all gonna work, um, but just to check that we don't have any errors, uh, we want to um, set a background color to see if it actually made it to the level 1 state, and if it didn't, it will just be a black background, I guess. Um, right, so the way we do that is this.stage.background, uh, yes, stage.background color, and we're gonna make it a blue, I have the code right here. That that's gonna be a dark bluish color, I guess. All right. So if you were to run this game right now, uh, which I will do right now, uh, da -da -da, there we go. Uh, move this a bit. Oops, <laughs> this is the wrong thing. <laughs> Gosh, I suck at this. All right. And for some reason, it doesn't work. All right. So if something doesn't work. You press F12 if you're in Chrome. I'm not sure what it is on Chrome. Oh no, Firefox. But yes, so in our right here we can say Anko reference error. Phase is not defined. In our index file, line 13. Let's see what's wrong there. Line 13. New phase of the game. Phase is not defined. Do we have a phaser file? Yes, we do. Oh, the problem is we haven't included our sp uh, files. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm stupid. Right. Um, that's, that's pretty easy, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, all right, so in here we need we have we actually forgot to include our files. It's important that you don't forget to do this. Uh, so script as I see. Uh, the first always needs to be phaser. Um, if you don't, it's gonna cause errors, uh, which sucks. But um, you have to do that. So next script as I see. Well, you can just copy paste. What am I doing? Oh god. Scope reload, main uh, game, uh, and menu, right. Put, uh, that's, um, preloader, our main menu, and our play. There we go. And if we reset the game now, nope, that doesn't work. Alright, what's next? <laughs> oh god, okay, now preload, preloader, uh, 7 line, 9 7, prototype. Cannot set up on the prototype on the find. What? <laughs> what? Oh, right. Oh. I forgot. Wait, did I? No, yes, I did. Wait. <laughs> Why 
what? <laughs> what did I do? To um, hang on. What's wrong? Uh, check. Okay, uh, play the chess. What? Oh, level one. There we go. Uh, prototype's not good. Why? Huh? Even a preloader, pre preload, preloader. Yes. Pre preload, preloader, <laughs> preloader. All right, you don't want to do that. Preloader. There we go. Run. That's another uh, error. Yes, because that's because I don't have the graphic for the preload bar. And if I go back to my files, run my assets, and make sure you have a file there, preloader. It's just the bar, uh, I guess. Alright, there we go. We have a a white background. Not a white background. A blue background. There we go. So that's it. Now you know how to fix your errors. Hopefully that's all cleared out. And uh yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.